everyone for some more of my Legion at Akurumo for FIFA 19. And a few th quick things here before I start this away game against Manchester City. And I have to start with some very bad news. Remember last year I had the whole contract situation with Calvin Phillips and he didn't want to sign this contract and then finally at the end of the season he decided to uh, stay on board? Well, that doesn't seem to be the case this uh, time when I tried to offer him a new contract. He pretty much says that uh, he feels that he needs to change his career, so he's going to move on to the end of the contract. So, you know what this means. This means that starting next season, I'm going to put him on the transfer list. Uh, hopefully get some decent offers off him and just offload him if he doesn't want to be here anymore. Which, I like Calvin Phillips, but I can't force players to be on the team that don't want to be here, so... This is going to be the last year we get to see Calvin Phillips, unfortunately, and then next year we'll find a way to replace him. But um, anyway, before this Man City game, I did sim this game against West Ham at home, which I ended up with a 3-1 win. And because of that, which I'm not sure if you guys paid attention to the table, but I am 10 points ahead of Chelsea with 10 games remaining. So, yeah, I... You know me, at the beginning of the season, I said that the Premier League was not an objective of mine. I wasn't planning on uh, winning it. I was just happy with a Europa League spot. But with a 10-point lead with 10 points remaining, I'm starting to feel that I can actually win the Premier League with this team. And you can see the top scorers, uh, Mario Goza and Kamara Roof, both with 26 apiece, which is awesome. So we've got a little bit of a two-headed monster going on there, but... Uh, Anyway, for this game, I'm going to play with my B team because I've, I have it's been a while since I played with them, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm the away side, so I'm going to keep the, my away kits on. There's Calvin Phillips, who looks like will not be part of my team next season because I do want to transfer list him since he doesn't want away, but... For now, I do have him as a starting center back alongside uh, Mangala. Um, I decided to give Karaba a start because, um, it's been a while since I played with him. Oh, oh one thing I do want to change here real quick. Of course, Kamar Roof up front with Jack Harrison. Uh, ba, 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 ba. let's see. It's going to be a little bit risky, but, um, I'll put a Dom on the bench. I'll probably, I'll probably have him come on in the second half sometime, so... But without further ado, let's see if we can uh, power some more pressure on Chelsea, at least keep the gap ahead of them. This is not going to be easy. This is going to be against Manchester City at the Etihad. Yeah, I think as much as I want Calvin Phillips on this team, if he's going to be running away that bad, then I'm not, I'm not going to force him to stay. And that's sad, because I do rate him as a player, but like I said before, I'm not going to keep guys on my team that just simply do not want to be here. Newcastle's up to 8th. That's unrealistic. You see Edison in goal. Pretty much the same back 4 in real life. Pretty much the middle 3 in real life, and with the exception of Griezmann. Uh... Oh, nice sign Schultze, the uh, free agent German center attacking mode. But other than that, their team's pretty much the same, and you guys saw what my starting 11 looks like. Kamar Roof trying to force Gundahan into a mistake. Gundahan looking like Messi out there so far. Oh, look at. Uh oh. Come on, somebody. Oh. Come on, guys, quit tripping over each other! What the heck was that? I'll tell you what. I would not be surprised whatsoever if I would have conceded first there because that opening sequence was probably the worst opening sequence I've ever had in a long time. Come on. Or at least something happened there. Frederick Anderson was able to squeeze it past... Uh, Emerson, but yeah, I am not liking how this team is playing so far. Yes, I do know that I'm taking the risk by playing my B team, but... 
I mean, I play against my B team against better teams like Tottenham and that. Well, I can't say Tottenham's better than Man City, but I have played against top teams with this B side. If them to come out like this is not making me happy. Is Zinchenko the former Manchester City player? Looking to do one in over his former team. And how did he, was he able to outrun Karaba there? Okay. Mangala was totally not ready for that. Who? Is anybody ready to play in this game today? Looks like nobody was ready to... Sh uh, they, they must be having a Carabao Cup hangover or something. Nobody is ready to play today. Jack Harrison sque squeezes it in. Come on, guys. Yeah, nobody was ready for prime time today, apparently. Because I can't get the ball off of anybody. I can't keep the ball. Oh. This is uh, this is unacceptable. This is absolutely unacceptable. Okay. Again, nobody... Screw it. Okay. Save. By Ederson. I think I accidentally called him Emerson before, which I apologize for that. Get, somebody get the... Thank you! Okay, nice run by the marvelous Nakamba. I saw him making a run there, and hopefully I was able to get that ball in through to him, and sure enough, I did. Good cross there by Frederick Anderson. I don't know why he's out on left-hand side. He should be in the center of the pitch. But I'm not going to complain about that. He made a nice play. Oh, my God. Why is Gundogan freaking playing like Messi against me? It's another one of those, like, Nabonja Matic I just cannot get the ball off of. And Karaba adds to the score sheet. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Okay. Oh, get the ball. Okay, nice one too there. Anderson. Why? Frederick Anderson, why are you not in the middle of the pitch? Where you're supposed to be. You're the center attacking mid. There's a good cross by Har Harrison to Caraba. Yeah, what is Anderson doing being on the left-hand side all the time? That's not what, where I want him to be. Okay, nice. That, that was beautiful, but come on, Roof. Can he finish? Yes, he can. That was absolutely beautiful. I'm hoping he doesn't give me guff either, like Calvin Phillips is, because I do want to keep Kamara Roof. Okay, nice steal by Karaba. Hopefully there's somebody out on the left. Please tell me that... Oh. Okay, Jack Harrison making the... Oh, how did Nakamba... Marvelous Nakamba is having a marvelous game. First he made that brilliant run earlier in the first half, and somehow he manages to win the header here. That was... Uh, who, who's number 30? Oh, that's Oda Mendy. How did Nakamba outjump Oda Mendy? Okay. Oh. Frederick Anderson. Oh. Nice! Frederick Anderson making things happen in this game. Kamar Roof. Comes off the post, but I don't care. It goes in the back of the net. Tell you what, I had a slow start, but this team's starting to get their foot uh, hold on this game. Screw it. Nakamba, nice goal! Hat trick! Yeah, you should celebrate, buddy. You've been having a fantastic game for me so far. And he couldn't have placed that perfectly. Ederson had absolutely no chance whatsoever at that ball. Nice still. Oh! 
Anderson did get the ball, which he does get the ball back. Okay, Harrison. Against his former side, can he score? Beautiful. I'll tell you what, this team is absolutely amazing on long shots. Jack Harrison making his old team look like a bunch of amateurs out there. Not sure who number 20 is in Manchester City, but all he could do is just watch Jack Harrison as he pretty much ripped him apart. Yeah, if you would have asked me if I would have had this kind of lead earlier in the half, I probably would have laughed at you, but my team's really shown up. Okay, trying to get the ball off uh, Kyle Walker. Harrison, shy marvelous Nakamba again. Marvelous Nakamba, screw it. Oh, that's too much. I, oh, he almost made it! And Kamarvu was able to clean up? I can't believe that shot was on target. I thought for sure he was going to sky that one. Marvelous Nakamba, unlucky to score his fourth goal there. My, oh my, Marvelous Nakamba. Well, hey, McJell. Yeah, the Boo Birds are out in the Etihad. Okay, where's Tottenham at? They're losing to Arsenal, that's helping me out. Where's Chelsea? I don't see Chelsea, but... I think Chelsea's more of a threat now than what, um... Spurs are. Anderson, do I want to sub you up? This is what I'm going to do. Because Karaba can play as a center attacking mid, I'm going to swap Anderson. He's had a good game, but I do want fresh legs out there, and I'm actually going to put Adama in there. This will be his first game since the Leicester game, where he absolutely botched that finish. Okay, Adama, you got plenty of making up to do, my friend. I still believe in you, but you really put a bad taste in my mouth after that Leicester game. Okay, Nakamba. I wonder how good Nakamba's crossing is. Let me find out. Mmm, not real great, but Harrison was able to finish. Not a good cross, but again, Jack Harrison with the awesome effort there to try to get that ball. And sure enough, he was able to beat Edison in that near post. Jack Harrison having a, a marvelous game against his old team. So is Alexander Zinchenko. One player that I actually thought about buying in the near future with this Leeds United team is Phil Foden, but I'm not sure if, if I'm going to be able to get him or not. Okay. Oh! Zinchenko almost got that ball. Zinchenko out muscling who uh, I think it was Gunahan. Okay, Jansen, come on Adama, get in the position. Adama Traore. I see Harrison. Ooh. Was that a miss or was that yeah, that was a miss. He tried to sneak it into that near post, but he just could not keep it inside. That hey, I'm not even gonna get mad at that. Oh. Okay, Mangala, another former Manchester City player. I didn't realize I had so many former Manchester City players. So that's Mangala, Zinchenko, and um, Harrison. Okay. Oops. Okay, Sterling and Griezmann off. Mares and Aguero on. Of course, being a Newcastle fan, I know exactly how deadly Aguero can be. Okay, let's see how deadly is it. Oh, come on, quit losing the ball, Zinchenko. S okay, screw it. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! I have to see the replay of this. <laughs> I had no business scoring that goal. I have to see this. Let me get another... Yeah, that was deflected off the Manchester City defender. Oh, my, oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> I should play Zinchenko more often. Speaking of which... 
Okay, who can I... Harrison, I'm... he had a good game for me. He had a bounce back game. And I'm going to sub him off for Tovan. And I'm going to put Luka Jovic on. I'm going to give Goats a bit of a risk. I'm going to put rest and I'm going to put uh, Jovic in for Roof. Nice. The two new guys coming in. Okay, Karaba, can you make something? Oh, he almost took the ball off of Stones, which he ended up being successful at. Okay, good pass, Mendy. Nice. Okay, oh, good defense there on Toby, and I think that was Kyle Walker that was covering him. Okay, nice. Oh, I thought for sure that was going in that, that far corner. Who is that with the attempt? Tanal? I think that was Tanali, yeah. Tanali was a good attempt there. Okay, Tovan, can you win the ball? Sort of. Can you force Aguero into... Actually, that wasn't Aguero. Okay, Nakamba. Screw it. Nice! <laughs> That's that's gonna be the secret, isn't it? Every time I want to score from long range, I'm just gonna say screw it, and it's gonna end up in the back of the net. Okay. Oh, trying to get the ball. Adama, can you come on? Use your pace. Okay, nice steal there, Tenali. Be careful because Aguero was right there. Nakamba. Nice cheeky pass to Jovic. Jovic breaks through. Can Jovic add to the misery of Manchester City? Yes, he can. Now, I don't know what Otamendi is doing in this game. It, it seems like he's, he's there, but he's not there. If I was Pep Guardiola, I would have yanked him. Nice, nice still. Screw it. Oh, nice save by Ederson. There's, uh, Nicholas Schultz. Okay, can you get... Oh, no, we can't. Okay, cross it in. Karaba, can you score? Yes, you can. That was a beautiful goal. Yeah, Karaba is a player I don't really play with a whole lot, but when I do play with him, he does do a good job. He is 80 rated, so he's kind of like becoming a poor man's Mo Salah a little bit. Tell you what, I'm still not going to be happy losing Calvin Phillips. I mean, yeah, I still have him to the end of the contract, but he's not... He's not gonna. He's not going to sign a new deal for me, so when his contract is up in three seasons... He's going to be gone. Okay, I'd like to get Tovan a goal, but that won't be the case. And Tanali gets his goal, which is awesome to see. Especially since he was so close in that one corner. Okay, Jovic trying to imp impose pressure. You can. Oh, Karaba loses the ball. Jovic. Nice. Can he squeeze it in? Yes, he can. Luka Jovic reminds me a lot of Kamara Moore, which Kamara Moore was really good at piling pressure and getting the ball. Jovic is the exact same way. Okay. Who's going to get somebody get the ball? Okay, somebody get the ball. Nice defense by Zinchenko. Were you able to close out Aguero? Was that Aguero? I keep on saying Aguero. I don't think... His name pops up, but I don't think that's actually the guy that has the ball. Uh, yeah, that, that was Mares, rather. Good job on Zinchenko closing out Mares. Okay, just got to keep the ball. Whistle blows. And yet another three points in the bag. Keep on pressure on Chelsea and Tottenham. And we got to be getting close to mathematically securing Champions League football by now.
We have to be getting close. And player rating, Marvelous Nakamba, man of the match, 9.9. I'm not even going to argue with that. The guy was absolutely fantastic for me. Let me see. Of course, he got the four goals. Uh, three goals, rather. And he got four assists. Three goals, four assists. That is absolutely amazing. Three goals, three, uh, three assists by Jack Harrison. He would be no, a solid number two for me. Uh, Dahmer did not really do anything, but he... He did his thing today. I, he he made me happy. Yeah, he didn't contribute as much as what he liked, but he p is pretty much getting on a return to form here. And Arsenal kicking the snot out of um, Tottenham. And there we go. I'm going to do training here. And the next video is going to be a bit of a surprise. I have no idea who I'm going to be playing against. It's, I'm just going to leave it to the next video. But, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.